<laughs> they'll start arguing about Israel and, and Palestine. And it's just, Oh like, dude, fish was so fun. Like someone asked, like someone announced, they're like, Oh, did you guys see the, the rocket attack? Like a bunch of rockets were shot at Israel and then fish sitting there in his computer chair. He goes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and he's, uh, and then someone asked him like two seconds later, they're like, so fish, like what's your take on this whole thing as like a Muslim and a Lebanese guy. And I'm like, what do you, he just was like yelling let's go about, <laughs> about it. i think he's chosen a side he's like yeah. I'm literally lebanese <laughs> yeah. like i think people he knows have been killed in lebanon this week like like it's like, i don't doubt it so he's you know it's hard to it's hard to tell talk truth yeah. to, to that. people you know Dude, are israel's being attacked you by take the all other their side. neighbors right now like it's <laughs> Uh, I'm switching sides again. I'm, I'm the Palestinian side <laughs> it's too now. Too convincing an argument. Okay, you're switching sides. Yeah. Okay, then I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Israel. I'm, you, you, you be Israel, and I'm gonna be Palestine this this time. I, I like that better. <laughs> you fucking oppressor. Your country didn't exist till what 40s? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Oh, as if we we got to, we're just time trying, started. Israel's just trying to live there, and they're being bullied by all these Muslim nations. Okay. Mm. Yeah, bully. They have F-35 fighters. Yeah, but they're not using them. They, they, they are using them all day, every day. They do nothing but use them. They have been bombing Show me 5,000 video clips of them using them. I just watched the video before we came on here. Actually, honestly, the video clip I, I did watch, though, before we got on here, there were people trying to steal the food from the aid truck that's going into Palestine. And uh -huh. you can, and you're watching them do it on video. You know, there's, is there, there's no ambiguity. They're, they have AKs, and they, they showed up in a truck. They're like truck thieves. And the Israelis are watching, and it's a lady pilot or operator whatever and she's like yeah i see him yeah they're getting in the vehicle they all got guns and they're like all right well fire whenever you're ready and she's she goes firing like immediately <laughs> she was so ready <laughs> she, right. goes, she goes and firing <laughs> and just blew their fucking truck up they're all so calm about it it's always it's always like i think shane gillis had that bit where he's, he's like our guys kind of hard to relate to sometimes they're all yeah. old as ice like yeah i see the family all right, and eh, they're gone. All right, uh, mission confirmed. Mission confirmed. Uh, copy that. Copy that. Roger. 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 You know, I kind of identify with the flip flop guys a little bit more yeah. than that cold ass shit. That's a that's a great <laughs> bit where he's like, "Me, I identify with the jungle gym guys, <laughs> <laughs> just doing their best out there." <laughs> yeah, that's so that's um, such a fucking funny bit. Yeah, th th those guys he gets have away these long with a lot because mm -hmm. he's funny and somehow non-political on politics like, mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's more like just make it funny like and people people engage with that they like it like i'm sure lots of people who don't agree with shane gillis politically because he does seem a little more right wing like they still think he's funny because he is funny he doesn't tell you you're wrong right like he just like he'll say trump is funny ah we killed him like a dog and you could tell he maybe <laughs> likes that he said it that way mm -hmm. um but he's not telling you that, like, you're wrong for not liking it. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. The world is now a much safer place. He was a sick and depraved man. And now he's gone. Baghdadi was vicious and violent. And he died in a vicious and violent way as a coward running and crying this raid was impeccable I th oh, i'm man. just glad that trump said it that way that's going to be there's there's going to be like a plaque of like all the famous speeches from washington lincoln and there's going to be that one beautiful dogs <laughs> yeah the, the talking about beautiful the dogs, dogs how wonderful our dogs are and how terrible all their terrorists are he died he died like a coward he died crying big baby <laughs> It, like he really did go on and on like that for a while. It was it was like a mean spirited. We we killed a guy tonight. It was fun, you know, big deal. I was there watching, you know. Our guys are cool. We got cool dogs too. Like, yeah. like he's talking. It's like lighthearted. Yeah. Like it, it was like he just watched Black Hawk Down or something <laughs> like that. It was like ugh. then the fucking little birds show up. They got machine guns, huge machine guns on these little birds, and they just start laying waste to those terror cowards. <laughs> Knowing Trump, he was probably literally like, 
I remember when Obama was talking about getting Osama, he didn't even seem excited, didn't care, <laughs> non nonplussed. Everyone was talking about it. And me, when I kill an enemy of our country, I'm excited. I get up. And I'm, <laughs> I'm ready for it. Like that's, that's he what was, if he had his what if he had his skull or something like like he had the head. <laughs> like, like no, I it's not him. even a skull. It's still flesh on the bone head. <laughs> He's got the head there. He's like they brought me his head. I said, don't come back without the thousands head. of years. We were putting our enemies' heads on pikes out front of our cathedrals, out front of our buildings. We're bringing it back. Does this ever? Ha I'm trying to load the transcript to like get it accurate. I can't open a new tab. My, my browser is like, maybe you lost your internet connection. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm in a call right now. Here it is. I got it eventually. Um, so, well, that thing that was Suleimani. Was it? No, no, it wasn't. Um, Ab Abdul Bakar Al Baghdadi. It was Al, ba Al Baghdadi. It was something like that. Yeah. I guess they chased him into a cave with a robot and a dog and murdered him with yeah. those. It, <laughs> the, the speech ends with this. Last night was a great night for the United States and the world. A brutal killer, one who has caused so much hardship and death, was violently eliminated. <laughs> he will never again harm another innocent man, woman, or child. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. The world is now a much safer place. That's what he said. Dude, we do scary shit to people, man. Like, like well, we are. It, it, ISIS is scary. You know, they're burning people in cages and shit like that. I remember that poor Jordanian pilot they captured burnt alive in that fucking cage. This is gruesome and awful. But man, you do not want the United States of America to, to like want to get you. Mm. It's, it, you know, like we're really good at finding you. And once we've found you, we, and I guess I am on the same team. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, Oh yeah, my this God. is like the, the president said this. Baghdadi and the losers who worked for him, and the losers they are. They had no idea what they were getting into. In some cases, <laughs> they were frightened little puppies. In other cases, <laughs> they were hardcore killers. They killed many, many people. They murdered innocent Americans, James Foley, Stephen Sotloff, Peter Kassig, and Gayla Mueller, who were especially heinous. Like, in some cases, like frightened little puppies, like the, like the president <laughs> yeah. saying that about our enemies. I kind of like that. I, whoever wins I do, this next one, I genuinely drag, like that. drag some of that attitude into the mix. A little bit of like, yeah, like you're an enemy of ours. We're we're going to be serious well, business about it. Well, what I like about it is, like, let's not pretend like, like, yeah, we launched a uh, military operation last night and blah, blah. No, we sent some killers and some fucking stealth choppers to another country without asking, and we took what what was ours. We killed motherfuckers and their families too. And then we robbed everything there that we wanted. Then we threw his body in off the side of a trillion dollar boat that we have a ten of. So suck our dicks for America. Like that's what I want to hear. I want to hear some hardcore shit. Like like don't don't pussyfoot around after you send in a SEAL team. You know what I mean? Like like you can't have it mm. both ways. Yeah, I, I like that. I think they killed that uh, Baghdadi guy with like a robot as well. I think he retreated into some little hidey hole cave that they had dug. Some maybe I think not they chase them down tunnel. with dogs maybe you're dogs right but a, that's what the both. president said oh okay. yeah i think they sent a robot and some dogs and i'm just imagining <laughs> how scary that is like i don't know I, i'm i don't know what their robot looked like but i'm imagining a scary robot and then some some belgian malinois and i'm in a <clears> cave <throat> hiding and they're coming for me it, it just sounds so gruesome and scary i bet he did get eaten up by dogs they probably let the dog kill him we're hardcore hmm. i love it i love that shit i'm i i, I uh I wish we had a good bad guy to fight that that wasn't so like gray area all the time. Like I I like I like when we fight bad guys. That's how it tends to be, though. You got a I, bunch of gray I, area to deal with. I'm out thinking there. about Aliens. how I'd do it if I was president, right? I don't think I'd do you know scared little try to have it both ways, scared puppies, evil killer. But I want it to be more <clears throat> ghost ops, right? Hey, this guy was an enemy of America. Anytime, anywhere, any place, America can reach out and touch you. He's gone now. End of speech. Just drop, mic drop, if, walk away. What if, didn't what Trump if, do that? What if then like, you uh, had one of those, like in the movie, they've always got that little remote to operate. They're like, they, he went, bloop. As you can see, at this very moment, our Predator drones are circling the hideout. And like you mentioned, this guy's <laughs> about Baghdadi's brother. Now, you may not know this about Al-Baghdadi's brother. Worse than Al-Baghdadi. <laughs> You Go look ahead. through the window here, you can see, and this is a damn shame, folks. He's Vinny, on Vinny. season two of The Wire. He's never going to get to the good ones. <laughs> never going to get to the good ones. Season two. What a shame. Those docs don't care. Then he pulls out a fucking Xbox controller and goes, 
<laughs> yeah, the president. <laughs> I'm like, and you hear, good shot, Mr. President. <laughs> Roger that. And then bloop, just turns it off. Like, like that would be pretty hardcore. Who is the guy that Trump was talking about? Like some terrorist that he showed him his house or said, like, I know where you live. Like, this is, oh, this is yeah. your house. This is where you're staying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that that, is that true? I heard it on a YouTube short. Someone told the story that they were there when Trump said it. Leader of the town. I've, I've never heard it from like a good source. Yeah, I, I don't know. I thought uh, I don't want to Trump... have to look it up. Zach, see if you can find a story. I, it was some Al Qaeda sounds right. One of the ISIS, one of those. I think it had to do with pulling out of Afghanistan. The, the, the story goes, he told the leader of um, Taliban. Who's the Taliban. Thank you. Like he showed him a picture of his house. And he's like, why are you showing me a picture of your house? He's like, if one American dies, so do you. And uh, But that sounds a little bit like, really, Trump personally? I don't know. I don't know. That's that's I the like, kind of that's the kind of big talk he's he tends towards. So I could see he's, that. He's braggadocious to a fault. So having him be like the captain of your team is kind of nice. Because now he doesn't really, he's not bragging about his gold toilets and his supermodel wife. He's bragging about stealth fighters and American zeal. And that, you can kind of get behind that a little bit. Um, whoever the next president is, I, I, I'm probably leaning like 55 Kamala over over Trump. I think it's probably the likelihood, like 55, 45. It doesn't look good. Um, I, I hope that they're... I'm worried about foreign policy. I'm worried about these three big wars that are going on and how the president, the next president, is going to engage with them. Like... like I don't want to have Americans fighting and getting killed, but I'm okay with whatever else, basically. Mm. Yeah, it's it's like we're on a at a time where escalation could happen rapidly in a couple of different areas of the world, and that's a very scary possibility. <laughs> <laughs>